Hello everybody and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Today's video is going to be another build guide. We're going to be building a live ship today. We're going to be doing it in about 30 or so minutes. We're going to be looking to build a light um, frigate-esque um, arrangement. Um, got some inspiration from the campaign frigate if you've seen that from the first jump scenario. Um, obviously, this is quite a big ship. So what I thought I'd do is get someone um, who's been on the channel before to come and help me out. So Omega's here. To join us today, hi. Um, do you want to say hello? Hi, hi guys. So Meg is responsible for um, like the the warden, the the dropship that I can't remember the name of. That was really good. Dragon. The, the dragon that we did on the workshop. Um, yeah. He did on the workshop and yeah, various yeah. other cool crafts. And there's also someone who I often spend time building ships with. So I thought it'd be cool to get him on the channel and we can we can go through like a live build here. So this is. Again, like the last video, less of a tutorial and more of a live build. So all we're going to be doing is building a frigate live. Um, no cuts, like no building cuts. So you can see exactly how we are going through the process of building, like the sort of the thought process, um, you know, what we're looking to do, what changes we make, and what like features we put onto a light frigate. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, the squiz. So we've laid out a 27 block um, frame here to sort of build off set it as a static grid and that's about it we've not really got any particular shape in mind apart from i'm guessing we're going like the standard cock and balls unless yeah, you want to no, do something think... different no that's always the best if you're trying to do it this sort of style right okay so, cool yeah let's go with that so first things first i want to make a rectangle yeah. um and then we want a landing pad right uh yeah a landing pad would be nice I would say near the back, because that means it's got more protection. I mean, it's yeah. combat vehicles, so best not have it exposed. So I'm thinking like that's the general shape. We've got the nacelles here. Yep. We can have the landing pad here, and then we can like carve this body, you know, in and out or whatever we want to do with it. Yeah. And uh, give it some shape. Yeah. Are we thinking bridge on the front or bridge on top? I really want to do a bridge on the top. Right, let's I'm thinking like a landing pad, and then the airlock leads directly into the bridge. Yep. So you can get you can get onto the bridge like super quick. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would quite like an economy door at the front. Just if you're using this in survival, it's always nice to have ease of access. You could just using economy mode as well. Yes. Yeah. Being with dock stations, I'd like to have that personally. Yeah. What I'm thinking. Just to keep things simple, we do like that, and then this is this is interior floor up there, yep. And then this is conveyoring down here, so we can get as messy as we want because we've got a whole layer of conveyors, and then we can pipe um, downwards thrust easily. So what we're doing, hydro and atmo. Yeah, yeah, that makes the most sense. Is it'd be nice to have this on a planet, obviously. So yeah. Okay, perfect. So that we like the ceiling there. So I'm right in saying that this sort of middle block here, I'll just paint it out for you, is where the main floor would be? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Sure. Omega's currently reaping the benefits of a static grid. Absolutely. I felt that's quite high up for the bridge though. Uh... Actually, if the if the if the nacelles, nacelles are like taller or, as well, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be that bad. I'd do them like five tall, maybe even seven. I don't know how seven would look. Just gonna start on this front. The good thing about having it in this sort of wireframe is you can also before you build the interior, figure out the layout, or a very, very rough layout, if you know what I mean, so you can figure out how many blocks each room is going to be and all that, so... Yeah, and then like, it helps with like gun placement and... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's Stuff too. like that as well. So we're going to have an entrance on the front as yeah. well. Okay. Are you thinking, obviously, we've got the one on the pad, the one on the front. Is that enough, do you think? Yeah, I think that's plenty. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we can turn the um, 
the front one into like a proper airlock with a with a vent and stuff, or uh, yeah, I mean we've got. Do you just want to leave it with the doors? No, it would make sense. Also, apparently the static grid is not as static as I thought. What do you mean? Uh, as in it's not connected to the grid. Which one? Uh, there was this one on the bottom that wasn't connected for some reason. But it's a static grid, so I don't know why. Doesn't really matter. Uh, might as well make the floor the conveyor line, or you know, four four. This here. Quite big, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty big. <laughs> Just gonna put in the conveyor line on the bottom, more like a rough one. Right. Okay. Um. Right. Slightly uproot the flooring. Never thought of this, but if you put hydrogen tanks on the, the nacelles, it's actually safer because it's oh. away from the main body of the ship. Oh yeah, I guess if it does go, then at least it's not gonna damage your vitals or your bridge. Yeah, so it actually kind of makes sense to do that beyond the just looking better. Yeah. What do we want to do for the like the Atmo upwards thrust? Do we want like we could probably put two large Atmo thrusters like on either side of the hull near the front, and then have like an array of small hydros at the back, or we could just have a load of small uh, Atmos like dotted all over the show. If you know what I mean? I quite like two large Atmos because they're pretty sturdy, and you just always know that you've got enough, sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I've always found them to be quite trustworthy in that regard, just to have two big ones and then they usually do the job for a ship this size, rather than have to worry about specifically what amount of small ones. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and it breaks up the hole a little bit as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Figure out the layout. So there's no. Oh, we should probably put the uh, jump drive in. Actually, I think I've got. I think I've got a space for that back here. You got a space? Great. Yeah, I should have a space for it. Don't want to get to the end of the build and then have to uh, shimmy one in somewhere. God, yeah. So, you know, do, do you remember that missile maybe. turret you were talking about? Yeah. That might be a perfect spot, like on the top above the 
uh, Atmos. Oh yeah. Okay. I just tried to put them in a bit more because I feel like they were a bit unprotected. Mm. We could easily do some uh, spaced armor there as well. Yeah, yeah. Trying to round off the corners I've made too. Oh no! What? <laughs> I was doing the spaced armor on the thruster. There's no thruster on the other side. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. How are we going to get through? So there's going to be like a very thin passage between them. Uh, yeah. Obviously. Do the um, bridge win? You know those bridge windows they added. Do they have more armor than the regular ones? I think they do. If you look in the resources, the thirty-five bulletproof glass, twelve girders. They do. They've got steel plates. In. Hold up. Um, Hang on hmm. a minute. <laughs> oh, about that. That's uh, a little mm. bit fishy. Uh -oh. Whoa! <laughs> Those are some fucking meaty thrusters. Thinking it just looks a bit better if it's higher and it matches the bridge as well. A better sort of height matches it. Sort of yeah. I don't know how to. It just looked a bit mid heavy. I would agree. Mirror what you did there on the bottom. Ah. What is the vanilla like alternative to half half stairs? Cause I don't think there is one. There isn't one. <laughs> no, there isn't, is there? No. Okay, okay. 
Are you doing green conveyor pipes now? Is that your thing? Oh, no, no, no. God, no. Uh, it was just an easy sort of obvious reference point. It st stood out against the sort of grey armour. I haven't had a pin, but that's actually a good point. Uh, let me see. Orange, is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to pay it now, we can do. Uh, personally, I like to just do it now because it gives me a better idea of how it's looking. I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of looks more like a ship and it's easier to detail it if you can see how it would look as the yeah, final Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Give her a lick of paint. Right, okay, cool. So we've got the basic shape down. Um, probably need to start thinking about actually adding some thrust. <laughs> yeah, no, that's always a good uh, idea. <laughs> Might actually have an idea for that. In just a second. Hey, it's orange. There we go. Right, where can I stick mm. this? Just colour out the components. It's also good to identify the armor coating. How are we powering this thing, by the way? Uh, because it's survival, I think hydrogen engines would be pretty good for it. Because okay. this is something that I imagine you'd want to maybe build an atmosphere. And as you know, uranium is quite hard to get, so it'd be a lot easier if it was just hydrogen engine powered. Personally, it's my it's my thoughts. I don't know what yours is. I think engines would work fine. Fucking hell. Deleting blocks left, right, and center. <laughs> I mean, like, you accidentally delete a block and you don't know what you've deleted. Yes. And we shall find out later on. What did Luna delete? I've got no idea. do 
Let me rotate the sun. I'm not just using paint though. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need to get gravity generator on this because I keep fucking flipping around. And just stick one down real quick. Uh, sure. We'll switch it all later, but just for now. There you go. Okay, let's make sure we've got all the main bits. So we've got forward, side to side. We've got no downwards thrust yet. Well, apart from those two big. I'll put four, four downwards hydros. Stick them here. That should fly. Very safe than sorry, I'm sure we can find some more average first spots. Yeah, I mean we tempted to tuck some small atmos at the arse, to be honest. There's not yeah. a lot going down over there. Okay. I could tuck four sort of balance the thrusters out a little bit. We'll, we'll see. We'll probably fly. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Sticking on the time there as well, that could work. Alright, so we got, got thrust um guns. Ah, uh, yeah. That one thing the frigate needs. Yeah, that one that one thing the frigate really needs. One there. One there. Cells are really not quite sitting right with me. No, I'd, I'm struggling to figure out what's going on with them, to be honest. Yeah, not a lot. Let me just. Uh, so you want it like. carving in? Yeah, kind of. Uh, tapering off. Probably be helpful if I actually did it on the bottom as well. Uh, what about the sides? Might do some armor panel magic with it, and then add sort of extending sort of grey little fin. It's hard to explain. I'll just do it. Yeah, that sort of thing. Just covered up the thrust as well. Something like this. Uh, yeah. I like the sort of two, three, four numbering you got there with the blocks. 
dangerous part is it's getting quite arse heavy. It's getting very wide. Yeah, that's a good point. Do you know what I mean? I'll curve it in. What do you mean? What if we had those those um, side bits that we've got? What if we had them with like half blocks? How do you mean? Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Like if these were half. I just wonder if that will help the profile at all. Yeah, I think we need more like armor paneling on the front. I think that's the problem. Yeah, that might help. Uh. So what, you do the front and I'll sort of fix these near sides. <laughs> Just need more... More armour at the front. Yeah, that worked pretty well. And Does that thin them out a little bit? Yeah. Need to do the same with the back as well. Oh. Manner of yeah. thing is happening back here. Yeah, God. Uh... <laughs> There's some hanging blocks. Right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go inside. Okay. Do some material. And when you come back outside. <laughs> and hopefully a little bit of magic happens when I uh when I arise. Uh yeah, sure. Sounds good. Hope is what I'm relying on. It all look bad. a slightly better transition. I mean, I, I quite like the beef in the cells, to be honest, but it kind of feels like it's just been slapped on the sides, and that might be the issue. I can fix yeah. that. Yeah. Like, I see what you've done with the sort of armor cowling at the front. Might not be the worst idea for the back, just as a way to use the same style. Fix my horrific mistake. It's not that bad. Crikey. Something like this. A bit of this. How have we got gyroscopes? What do you think? Okay. <laughs> I'll find a spot for gyroscopes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I may have a spot. Hang on. Hang on. Let Pappy work his magic. To anyone who thought that the way we built our ships was very professional and our building process was meticulously planned. It is. Uh, it's all planned. I hope we've proven you right. <laughs> Door. Door. 
There's no like vanilla equivalent of the the window passages either. No, there's not. <laughs> A lot of things that. that there are to vanilla equivalents of. Okay, that could work. That could work. That could work. Okay, okay. Why is. I what? forget caps lock toggles you from walking, doesn't it? Yeah. I want that. Probably want some cargo access as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Need a vent. know how to cover up ground vents. Mm, num, num, num. I quite like the good old catwalks, but I'm not in there, so I can't really see what you're doing. I'll come inside. <laughs> no, I'm just going to do catwalks, I think. Catwalks? Okay. I assume it's what I think you're talking about, the same kind of thing you did in the last video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For some reason, the ground down catwalks seem to... I don't know, they seem to work a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of prefer them to the DLC ones, if I'm honest. They just down all looks right for me. I don't know why there's a hole in the hole there, but... No comment. Oh, are you doing stuff? Maybe. Alright, that'll work. It's like a basic... What else do we need inside? Crew quarters? Med bay, uh, med bay. Med bay. <laughs> need a med bay. Definitely need a med bay. Luckily, because we set up this fucking dope conveyor system. Literally just a fucking line, but yeah. Yeah, but it's use. Like, you got to admit it's useful. Yeah. It takes up a lot of space, but it's useful. Hmm. How's the uh, how's it looking out there? Not god awful. So better than five minutes ago. Sweet. Let's do all the all the colour, all the pizzazz. Oh yeah, okay. You're pulling the armor across the I see. Yeah, that's why there were holes appearing in the hull. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Most likely. Oh my fucking symmetry is not. of when in doubt use blast door. Yes. I was literally doing the same thing. <laughs> Did you 
so you got the gyroscopes? Yeah, we got gyros okay, now. Great. Gyros are go. So we have that one thing you need to move the ship. Yes, we have a jump drive and many things besides. Can I call these bits grey or is the outside going grey? Uh, Actually, I kind of like them orange. I don't think about it. The outside doesn't go in grey. So, if you do want to muck around with it, you'd be alright. I'm just gonna fucking paint everything grey and then see what see what changes. If I start screaming, you're probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yep, no, I see it. <laughs> Have I changed something? Yeah, I'll just put it back to orange. Put it back, okay. yeah, and let me see what... There's only like four blocks. Oh, it's those, right, yeah, no, okay, that's fine. What are they? Are they four blocks or are they slopes? Uh, they're slopes, they're like big two by one slopes. Okay. I see you doing the, uh, the indented blast door as well. Yep. Some pretty good decoration. Or pretty good method of decoration, rather. Yeah. I'll add the cheapest fucking living quarters you've ever seen. <laughs> Probably not that bad. The thing is, right, you got to keep in mind, is we're not like, we, we, ain't, we ain't got time to, to refine this shit, we've just got to, we've just got to do it, like, there's no time to, yeah, like, think, oh, oh my god, Omega, I'm gonna fucking kill you. What? You prick. What? Like, literally every block where I want to put a light bulb, you put a fucking blast all out, like, <laughs> <laughs> down the middle of the fucking ship. Alright, alright, I just want to agree. No, 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 don't do it, because I've just done the lights around it now. Oh, right. <laughs> but I was going down, I was like, oh, I could put a light here, and then I was like, oh, no, I can't. I was like, oh, I could put a light, oh, no, no, I can't. Would it be really funny if I told you I didn't even like it? No, it wouldn't. Good, because I do like it, and I'm so glad that you found other options. <laughs> Good. Okay, we got a bit... The ship is using... Oh, oh, it's charged at the jump drive, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> it's 
sounds like something. <laughs> nah, the ship just, uh... The lights looked a bit dull, but I've, I've sorted it out now. You needn't worry. It's nice new. It's the camera on the front. Oh, that's much better. Right, cool. Almost done, I'm just, uh... Doing some... Remember, we don't need to, uh, like, do all the groups and all that shit. Yep. When you get a minute, you come sample the interior. Sure. Oh, you turned those nacelles into, um, hardpoint weapon placements. Yeah, I've, I've moved them closer into the inside. Oh, they're a bit more protected. They look really nice, actually. Thanks. Me gusta. How about we do a bit of a swap and you change what you want on the outside and I'll have a bit of a look see on the inside. Yeah, I wanna I wanna get your thoughts before you you start like fucking Gordon Ramsay in the interior. Are you already in there? Nope. No, right, okay. Coming in, I just <laughs> creepling a couple things. I don't know. You know you know what we could put in the middle block there? What? Windows. It's a window? The the old windows. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, we can't. I thought we could do like a slope across here and then have like a window in the middle. Ah. I mean, we could still put. It kind of looks a bit. Hang on. All right, fuck off. Go, go inside. Okay. okay. Pa Pappy has an idea. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want my windows. <laughs> hmm. That looks too flimsy now. God damn it. Maybe I can maybe I, maybe I can do something there. Oh, I like what you're doing there. Nice, nice, okay. nice. Ooh, I know I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some ass lights. Some ass lights? Yep. You'll see in a minute. Assuming I can find out which interior turrets I've... Interior turrets? Interior lights I've put down. Probably 10 and 11. Probably. Really zero intensity. Can I add piston heads? That is one of life's greatest questions. I don't think there's actually any spots. I'm quite, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I take such pride in that. Add some ground down cover walls. A bit more. figure out how to make them. Are you thinking of putting some sort of cowling over the thruster? Like spaced armor? I really like that dark grey sort of spaced armor you do, I just can't remember how you do it. It's like... I'm probably gonna butcher it, but it's do like... Do you want me to just do it? Do you know uh, the one I'm on about? Yeah. Where it's... oh. Okay. <laughs> I am right here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that? Do you, just, you do it, you know what I mean. That yes, it, it's, yeah. And I'll go have a look at your interior. Slash, tell you that my blast door grieve was fucked up the airlock. I think. Yeah. No, uh. 
Yeah, I can flip the I can flip the locker around. <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> wait. I do that. <laughs> You've seen that meme, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, okay, cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh no! Wait, the back door's open. The back door's open. That's not the thing I'm looking at. Oh wait, no, it isn't. The back door's closed. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the gyroscopes. What do you mean? Are they not off for you? Yeah, it's because the jump drive's consuming the whole fucking oh, shit. Right. I thought it was on a fucking different grid. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the jump drive is currently sucking the ship dry. Oh. Now, please tell it. Yep. Yeah. You actually had that. Had what? Oh, it's the hydrogen engines. You have an air leak on you. I blocked the, the ass off. I unblocked the ass for Greeble. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Typical. know where I did it though. Um, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, it's a blast door. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Let me just add something to cover that. The damn blast doors. <laughs> Let me just cheat and use like an inverted window so I still get the aesthetic pleasure of it. No. Oh. Has that worked? I can't hear over these fucking hydrogen engines. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an external vent. And then if I put some oxygen tanks in the in these nacelle bits here, you can go into atmosphere and you can fill up these tanks for free. How big brain is that? That's a good idea. Why did I have to use so much Greeble? It's actually really badly fucked something up. <laughs> if you, you just go in spectator and see what's um, I am. I think I see it. Hang on. I I, I think I know what it is. I think um, I just delete the engines. Is it pressurizing now? Yes, it's pressurizing. Oh, I My think blast so. door blocks. Oh, piston head. That's where I can put one. There we go. The sacrifice must be made. That's not agreeable enough. You see, guys, this is the shit Lunar has to deal with when he's building ships with me. Yeah. If you've seen um, the need to create video, and you've seen the fucking light scene with... Uh... Do you know the one I'm on about, Robin? Uh, of course I know, of course I know the, one, the one you're on about. You Incredible amount of fucking pain. I think you actually smashed the desk. <laughs> that was fucking class. Don't touch these lights. <laughs> Five minutes later, the fucking lights are gone. So it's then, not that bad with Bill Vision, but like. And I'm just like, you know what the funniest part is? I don't even think I like it. <laughs> it's after you've like, you know, when you group all the lights together, and like yeah. you set them up on button panels and shit. And then you just fucking change it. It's okay. I don't forgive you for it, but it's it's oh. okay. Okay. <laughs> you see, Omega's brain did not realize that he, there was a block for that there, so you know, I just switch that up. Are so. you saying there's Greeble I didn't know about? Yeah, there is. What? You see, you don't know all my power. Lord. Okay. I, I don't know about that thing on the top. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. That something needs to be there, though. I think. No, and I just. Then, nah, nah, ha, ha, okay, 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 okay. Missile turret! Beacon. I've got an antenna though, but uh, that could work. Fuck your antenna, I like Greeble. Uh, oh, no, no, okay. it's fine, it's fine. That uh, works. No, it works, it works, it works. I have to say, the, the underside of this actually looks really nice. Yeah, I, I, I quite like it. Um, Should we add landing gears? Because we've got the blocks to do it. I'm just. Is it gonna. What is that? Oh no, it won't. No, never mind, never mind. 
I'll add a, tell you what, I'll add a connector here though. Yeah. Because it's like the perfect spot for a connector. <laughs> yes, that's literally exactly what I was going to do. Dents it a little bit. We, also, if you've noticed, if we had a faction tag, we could put it on those blast door blocks on letters. Oh, yeah. This is a big brain, Tom. It's big brain. Oh, fuck yes. Those missiles look great. Me gusta. These catwalks. Okay, cool. Don't wanna, I don't want to fuck with the exterior too much more. Because I'm just doing like one, two block changes that just don't need yeah, to be no. done. I'm quite okay. conscious of the fact that it's like 50 minutes. Well, that's not too bad then. It's not too bad. Stick a bottom panel there as well. It will rip your Shit. fucking upload. Yeah. Can't wait to see it in two or three days' time. That's yeah. when he starts uploading. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh, this is actually really nice interior. Where? You're just staring at the wall. I'm. Oh right, I'm I'm using Spectre. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> yeah, this will this will do. This will do it nicely. Mm. It's got everything you need. I'm just gonna add some of the old original SE windows. Yes. The vertical windows. You can't have a true ship without it. I, I refuse. Something like this. Mm. Where the fuck is this thing? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> because I just removed a block and I just heard the hiss of the entire thing depressurize. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what have you done? I fixed it, it's alright. I swear there was a small corner triangle armor panel block. Uh, no. Is there not? No, because there isn't anything to really attach it to that's like. Well, there is, but. There, the, it, it doesn't exist. It's a short answer, it doesn't. What? Also, I saw. I was watching the video of your little mining ship, the other one of these this morning. And I saw oh, yeah. you having an absolute mare over not being able to find the corner version of the, uh, like, the inverted version of uh, this block here that's next to the bar. Oh yeah. Like, or is it? Does it exist? It doesn't exist, and I was just in bed watching the video and going, watching, yeah. try and scroll through every single one. <laughs> Scroll, <laughs> scrolling through every block in SE trying to find it. <laughs> and I was like, it, it doesn't exist, Luna, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Just skip forward 30 seconds. No. Yeah. I think maybe some external lighting. I yeah, think. I just added a one on the bridge. Uh, we could probably do with some blinkers. Yeah, I've got some red ones on the back, but some white ones might be nice just in general. We could put one on top of the beacon. Wait, did you get rid of the pillar? Uh, I did because I thought it was kind of obstructing the bridge. Although it's obstructing. It anyway. Well, I'll do a, I'll do a light near the ventral connector so that you can actually see it. Yeah. And we could do a flashing light like there. I'm gonna use some neon tubes on the blast doors and the nacelles for like port and starboard. Okay. Porting starboard colours right. Green on the right, red on the left. Yep. No, wait. Green yeah, on yeah. the port, <laughs> red on the starboard. Yeah, all the way around. Yeah. Wait, is that right or wrong? I think that's right. Red yeah. starboard. Red is port. Fucking hell. Right, cool. Uh, I might have a bit of paint, do you think? This wow, what are you seeing? Last panel here. Is this, uh, it's I'm orange and white for me. 
Yeah, no, it's not for me. Alright, well, well, whatever. Also, like, one block, which is... Cool. I'll fix it, so... Mm. I don't think there's much left. I'm tempted to just, like... The, the, this is this might not be permanent. Shh. Oh, kind of looks like it's got handlebars now, isn't it? A bit. The thing is, if you look at it from the top, it looks like quite weak in the middle. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does look like, like it it's... looks almost like two ships. What if we bridged? You know these orange bits here. What if we bridge them over? We can't. Why not? We'll try and bridge them over. Like if we if we went up a block. Oh right, if we went up, yeah. Is that? I think it probably doesn't help that these armor bits indent, but I think maybe if I invert the way that it happened, it might look a bit better. Like that. I think that looks better. I think that's, I think that's too extreme though. Like maybe half blocks. Armor panels. No. Is that the one? Why is my symmetry not on? Grrr, what's a fucking block for that? That's the neat part. It can't it can't be that because then it it's Do you know what I mean? It's too flush with the beacon part. Yeah, I don't quite like that. No. Well, let me have a go. Uh I mean you, yeah, you could just do the armor panels, but the Alright, let me look at it from the top. It'll be very flat. Maybe it just needs this something like that. It does look a bit boxy. Mm, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. If this put these back, make these orange again. I think that works. Yeah. What if we put, what if we armor paneled over the top of the um, these edges here, just so you can't see the blast door? Uh, what if we did like? Oh. Yes or no? Yeah, well, with the white stripe, I think, obviously. Yeah. I think that looks a lot stronger. Yeah, it does look a lot stronger. Actually, it looks good because it outdents instead of indenting. Does that make sense? Yeah, it protrudes. Yeah, yeah it looks cool. Protrude, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> it outs dense. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just uh, fix some final greedle. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Sweet. Right, right okay. I'm quite chuffed with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy to call that a wrap. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice frigate, uh, considering the time we had. Um, uh, how much that take us up to? An hour. An hour. Ah, it's not too bad. For a ship of this size, I mean, we would probably spend. Just give everyone a heads up. They'd probably be, a, to be honest another good hour at least touching it up yeah and like cha re changing things but like as a general like ship you know b before the touch ups like that's that's a pretty pretty decent frigate so um i'll just give everyone a quick um look at like everything so we'll go over like the outside real quick yeah just so you can see what this baby looks like it's got a landing pad at the rear 
I had to make sure we had a downwards thrust then. I <laughs> wasn't entirely sure we had it to be honest. <laughs> that would be, yeah. And then obviously you can replace like these conveyor lines, you can replace them, like all these conveyor pipes could be O2 generators, they could be cargo containers, could be oxygen tanks, um, depends how much of each thing you want there. Um, these gats aren't conveyed up at all, but that's uh, that's something that you know is not not, but, not massively uh, necessary. Uh, <laughs> let me just quickly fix that for the sake of the <laughs> <laughs> just for the sake of uh, having a completely functional ship. Now you're kind of worrying me that the other ones weren't conveyed up. Uh, let me just do this. Hang on, let me just continue with the tour, and then you can come back outside, and it should be all right. There we go. Oh, that's what I haven't got in yet. That'll be perfect, Adam. What? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, so th this is what I mean about the, the hours spent touching things up, but like generally the shape of the ship is there. Um, I fixed the issue. Omega's cr uh. <laughs> Piping up the Gatling turrets. Um, I knew I'd missed something. But yeah. So there's a little overview of the outside. There's a little overview from the top. Show you the bottom as well. Just like to highlight before anyone comments, this is obviously not the most efficient PvP ship you can have. Um, it's a good balance between uh, form and function, I believe, for a survival ship. You know, it's something that looks cool that you can cruise around in. Um, I don't believe there's any reason to make every single ship as like a, like do everything. I don't think there's any need for that. Um, but th this is what that looks like. We'll go inside. We'll go through the back. So you've got an airlock here into the bridge, or well, the helm, obviously. You've got ladders coming down here into the engineering room, you've got access to your gyroscopes, you've got your gravity generator, O2 gens, you've got cargo storage access, uh, you've got your shelves, direct access to the power source, which is the engines. Um, another thing is you can just replace like any full armor block with batteries, like you could probably load like 30 batteries onto this thing. Um, you've got a little walkway here, you've got access to these Atmos, so you can weld them up while it's still airtight, you've got a little window just, I don't know, window med bay in here you've got your crew quarters where you can sleep you can do a dump, you've got a desk where you can have some scran and you can come out the bow, you've obviously got your uh, armories and then directly there's a docking port that will work with the economy stations so you can dock directly to a station and uh, and waddle out onto the, the station platform there, so yeah, pretty pretty simple frigate. Looks really nice, I think. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that um, I would touch up if I was to, to go through this thing myself. Probably add more batteries, more cargo storage, more oxygen storage, more O2s, etc. Um, but that's not something that we're going to do now because it would take like way longer. But as a general basis, there's the ship. So have you got anything, uh, anything to say before we head off, Omega? You want to join me on top of the bridge? We'll go to the landing pad, actually. Probably just the. Oh, this video took like what an hour. An hour. But unfortunately, I mean, it's gonna be taking a bit longer, as you've said. Once you actually sort of, this is just like bare bones done. You actually need to sort out all the component uh, components, the control panels, and all that, and fix everything that's probably broke inside. And there was obviously two of us doing it, so yeah, it's going to take a bit longer, but I feel like this was a pretty good video that shows the process at least. It's just not accurate how long it would probably take. Yeah, it will probably take yeah. another good hour, and then you'd obviously have to go for all the finalising stuff before you post on the workshop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, but you know, as a general rule of thumb, here you go. Here is what I would class as a light frigate. Um, yeah, like I mean, it could be a frigate in in some fleets. Um, but yeah, no idea if it flies on a planet. <laughs> Absolutely no fucking clue. But if it doesn't, 
There's so many conveyor pipes. I mean, you could put hydrogen thrust here. You could do it. Like, you could literally stick thrusters right here on the prow. You could put thrusters here. I mean, there's so much room to put thrusters on this thing. So, yeah, absolutely no problem with that. So, yeah, thanks for coming on the, the channel today, Omega. Thanks for helping me build the ship and uh, giving everyone some tips and tricks on how to build a frigate. Yeah, thanks for having me. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what ships you'd like to do next. Let me know if it was a enjoyable experience to have another person on the channel and doing a sort of collab build here. Um, and then what other ships you'd like, like to see me build in the future. And take care, everybody.